Australia has about 240 species of frog and many of those are under threat. Frog ID is Australia's first national frog count. It's a scientific rescue mission that everyone can join. Download the free Frog ID app today from the Apple Store or Google Play and get counting. Once you've downloaded and installed the Frog ID app on your phone, there are a couple of initial steps to becoming a Frog ID citizen scientist. First, you must agree to go frogging safely. This is the Frog ID pledge. Frog ID safely identifies frogs in their habitat by recording and matching their calls. When you go frogging, please be careful where you tread and don't touch frogs. Clean and disinfect your footwear between frog habitats so as not to spread frog germs. Become a frequent frogger, submit your frog calls and help save frogs. If you agree to the safe frogging practices, please tick the box and tap submit. Now, there are some how-to slides that illustrate the main screens to use in the Frog ID app. You can always access this how-to from the About screen in the Profile section. Next, you'll need to allow Frog ID to know your location to help identify frogs in your area. Click Allow Frog ID to access your location while you're using the app. Lastly, it's a good idea to download offline content to your phone. This content includes all the images and calls for 241 frog species presented in the mobile app. Ideally, do this on free Wi-Fi, and then when you're in a remote location or have limited internet access, you'll be able to use all the features of Frog ID without being connected to the internet. The first section of the Frog ID app is the Explore section, featuring over 240 species of Australian frogs. You can discover all frog species by scrolling left through the circular bubble buttons or discover them in the list view below. Scroll down this list to see more species in alphabetical order by scientific name. In the top left of the screen, tap on the filter button to refine the selection of frogs seen on the explore screen. Near me will use your phone location service to only show frogs in your area. Calling period lets you select when frogs are calling by month. Habitat lets you choose the environment and water body you're exploring. Adult body size helps search for frogs of certain sizes. Colour is the general colour of a species you are looking for. State or territory is where frogs are located around Australia. Usually, it's best to have the near me option switched on as this will show only the frogs in your area in the explore section of the app. Once filters have been set, return to the Explore screen and start looking at the frog species in your area. The larger bubbles show frogs that are more common and that are calling now. Scrolling right, the bubbles become smaller and the further you go, present the frog species that are less likely to be calling. Selecting a frog will show you the details about that frog. This frog is less likely to be calling now and you can scroll down to see the distribution map so it's best to focus on the frogs in the left of the group of bubbles. If you click on a frog, you can learn about the species in the frog details screen. You can find the common name, the scientific name, conservation status, and scroll through more pictures of this frog species in the image carousel. Below these details, you can see the calling period calendar, which shows you the times this species is most likely to be calling. Most of the frog details screens also feature recordings of the frog calls to listen to. Scrolling down the frog details screen, there is current information describing the species and their preferred habitat, as well as a distribution map and breeding biology information. And lastly, what other species may be similar to it or mistakenly identified as this frog species. You can move back and forth to the next frog in the explore list using the arrows in the top right of the screen. Moving back to the explore page, you can also use the list view to discover details of frog species. The list view is also useful for hearing a quick sample of frog calls. Swipe left on the frog species name to reveal the play button and hear the frog call. Clicking on the arrow to the right will take you to that frog species information screen. The record section of the Frog ID app enables citizen scientists to record the calls of frogs for submission to the Australian Museum Frog ID project. You need to give permission to access your microphone for recording to work so tap OK. 
or later go to your mobile settings and check allow access to the microphone. Before you record, you'll need to find a good spot for frogs. Remember your frog ID pledge and be careful not to disturb frogs or their habitat. Frogs might stop calling if they're wary, so try to be as quiet as possible. Make sure you're in a position where you're comfortable, can be still and won't slip. Press the red button to start recording. You'll need to record for at least 20 seconds as the longer you record, the easier it will be to identify the frog calling. When the recording reaches more than 20 seconds, you can stop the recording by pressing the red button again. The recording then needs additional information about the location of the frog call. This is useful to help validate the frog species. Select the type of habitat and the water body type and tap next in the top right of the screen. The Frog ID app now displays frog species that may be calling in your area and you can listen to each of these species calls. The big yellow button at the top is your recording. Scroll down to listen to other calls and try to find the one that sounds most like yours. When you've found a call that matches, click the checkbox to the left. You can also choose a couple of matches if more than one frog species is calling. When you've finished finding any matches, tap on the next button. In the results page, you may add notes and photos that may be helpful for experts to help verify the frog recorded in the call. Once you're finished, please tap on the submit button to send to the Australian Museum. Submitting a call recording requires you to register as a Frog ID citizen scientist. If you've not yet created a profile or haven't logged into the profile section, you'll need to do this to submit your frog call recording. Create a profile by signing up with your name and email address. Once logged in, on the profile page, you can see all the calls you've recorded, calls you've submitted, the recorded calls that have been verified as a frog species, and the calls that are not frogs, like crickets, or uncertain. You can delete your recordings in the not submitted list at any time. Tap on the edit button, tap on your recording and press the trash icon. A pop-up will appear to check that you want to permanently delete the selected recordings. You cannot delete submitted recordings, but you can archive them. Go into the submitted or verified list and select call records. Tap on the file icon in the top right of the screen, then tap on the archive button in the pop-up. This will remove the call recording from your phone but you can still access it at the Frog ID website. You can also check out the Frog ID website for more Frog ID information, as well as a map of calls submitted, a leaderboard of how many calls other people and groups have recorded, and other ways to get involved, including verifying the calls other users have submitted to the project. So that's an overview of the Frog ID app. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to hearing frogs calling in your area.